What's up YouTube, it's Louis here bringing you today's cryptocurrency video on HBAR. What is going on? We're going to take a look at the weekly close, the first 2022 weekly close. Now, of course, we want to look at what the moving averages and do, are doing. And we don't have a bearish cross yet. So if we don't get one, this is higher chances that we create something called an EMA repel where they do not cross over. And this gives us a slingshot sort of action with the price action. So that would basically give us a target roughly around 43, 44 cent. Let's get that exact. Yeah, roughly about 44 cent for H bar. Of course, you are caught under two EMAs, the two continuation moving averages. So as long as we are above, uh, below these and you're hitting your head on resistance, there's higher probability that we actually come and roll over once again. And we would like to see 25 cent hold. Perfect. So as long as you're enjoying this video, please smash the like button. Let me know in the comments down below what you think is going to happen to H bar next. Are we going to go up? Are we going to go test those lows again? with the bearish cross on the weekly time frame but um, also guys i want to say could you please subscribe we're trying to hit 1.5k subscribers by the end of february i know that we can do that because back in october we didn't even have 200 so let's continue with the daily time frame now we can see that we are forming some sort of double bottom here and we've been going through this for over the last month now we did get a bullish cross over here just now uh printed well printed day before so bullish cross with the 12 and the 20 ema rough so we would like to hold above 30 cent basically but of course if we lose this low over here 28 cent we do know just looking at that weekly time and that we can come and test these lows again and that would still be a double bottom but this could also be a double bottom right now this second and so all we basically need to do is break this neckline of 32 roughly 32 yeah 32 cent area basically for us to start heading back up and when we took a look at the weekly time frame we know we were tracing to roughly 44 40 yeah 44 cent so that is what we're seeing right now for h bar let's turn on these moving average so the drawing sorry yeah so as long as we're above this 26 cent which is already below this so you could come even further down if you wanted to as long as you're above this pocket over here then we are in a target to 36 cent and i'll keep telling you guys this and i've been mentioning this literally ever since down here so for well over two weeks now this is probably the third week of me mentioning this to you you're probably tired of me talking about this but we are in a target to 36 cent until we're not so until we're not i'm going to keep saying in every single video we're in a target to 36 cent the only way to invalidate this is lose 25 cent and then i'm like yep we're not going to that target we, we, we need to look at uh other targets now but until then until we lose that low down here this sorry this support we're good for continuation to 36 cent once we've got there we can even overshoot it a bit maybe come to these highs or potentially even the two at 40 cent but we would need a retracement after that maybe sit on this swing high or wherever that bullish cross will be because once you make this higher high higher than this high we will form a bullish cross with the EMAs where they cross over. We would like to see the 55 go under the 20. Right now it's on top. That's your bearish cross. We need a bullish cross just like that. Once we got that, you can see what happens. Just like with a bearish cross, you go come down. With a bullish cross, we'll go up. And I do think that we will meet these targets, 44, 46 cent. And that lines up with what we were seeing on the weekly time frame. A target once we break above the 20 weekly EMA and the 12 weekly EMA we've got a target roughly at 44 cent and this is all acting as confluence because these are also the Fibonacci levels to watch out for so guys that's pretty much it you can see also if we zoom out a little bit measuring from the swing low to the swing high you're coming up impulsively and you're correcting downwards so this is showing you that the bulls are in power and the bears are trying as hard as possible to push price down, but it keeps trying to come back up. And that's what we've seen with this light, nice impulse with H bar sort of leading the market, isn't it? With this pump up here, we didn't get that with many cryptos. Like Bitcoin right now is doing some sort of double bottom like this, but it's literally ranged in between this support and this resistance. Like we're currently at the lows over here, but with H bar had an amazing pump. You're finding support on this previous swing high, previous swing high, 
previous swing high look support here as well so this is a nice area for h bar to hold and as long as it can hold and actually as long as it's above this 0618 at 23 24 cent which is lining up with our 25 26 cent box then of course we will continue to our 36 cent target as a minimal target once we find support on those emas on them bullet that bullish cross then we will continue to 44 46 cent so guys i hope you enjoyed this video please like the video help us get to 1.5k subscribers by the end of next month and i'll catch you in the next one as always peace